Master, I will get you out of here. We will get to Debma before sunrise. I have found the realm of the gods. A Junta warrior does not complain, nor rebuke her orders. All temples are sacred. Some are protected not by Junta warriors, but by something else. Something not many Junta know of, and the ones who do are certain it's more valuable than any temple. I was chopping wood, and then she was just there, with an arrow in her shoulder, staring at me like I'm E.T. Next thing I knew, she was on the ground. I both laugh and cry at that memory. I cry because I should have told you the truth. What a wonderful idea. But you must eat more first. Nothing is worse than listening to speeches on an empty stomach. I wanted to tell you that I had a strange... Something happened when I meditated with your carving. Uh, a serach, Atreminda told me it was. I saw, or rather, I was you. With your father, when you were young. When he had you kill a wolf. I only saw that. I felt very sad for you, having to kill a creature like that so young. It's... it's like... It's very much like this world here. It's called Earth. There are oceans, rivers, mountains. We have cities. I'm from Chicago. There are temples, but many of us call them churches. My favorite food in the whole world is pizza, especially the pepperoni kind. There are... animals. <sighs> There's only one moon, though. I'll have to get into a station not too far away, then. Or close to here. Maybe near north. That's close to all the action, but not quite as crazy as downtown. We need to stay in here and stay low. Whatever is going on, it's happening over there. It is like I am a small part of something great and powerful. I am just an arm of the Earth, connected to the entire world. It is awesome and Akvera at the same time. Ah, I see your problem. You have not tasted it enough. At first, yes, its flavor is strong, but as you try it more, you acquire a certain taste for it. It may start out as bitter, but the more you drink it, it becomes more refined, with some hints of nuttiness, or even sweetness. And Lex Luthor. He is evil, but he has no powers, and he wants to kill Superman. These Earth stories are exceptionally strange. How does a man with no powers try to kill a man who is unstoppable? Superman could just fly away. I must admit, Lauren, that your world fascinates me. When you showed me your music, I could not get it out of my head. I thought I would go crazy with the melody playing over and over again. It is so different. But I like it. The architects think it could be done within four descri. Can you believe it? This is my biggest project yet. Soon all the Lerenae will be wanting this system in their homes. Oh, I have been waiting to say that to someone for quite some time. It's a pity that Brayans don't see the value in puns. I don't even think there is a word for pun. I want to hear stories. Will you please tell me? Please, brother. You have been gone so long. That is Val. He is so determined. I don't know why I thought of him just now. 
Yet he is always in my thoughts. I want him to be happy. You have done enough. I am not so proud not to be able to admit you have uncovered valuable information, and finding a possible junta to add to our feeble ranks, no less. But none of those things are your concern anymore. You have a duty to consider. I fear this council has grown too complacent. We all have. The time has come that we must prepare ourselves for the changes to come. Not just in regard to Sabal or the Junta, but our deepest beliefs about the world. This being, the Serpent, as Sabal called her, who is to say she is the only one? What if there are more beings like her, hidden and lost to our knowledge? I fear that this may only be the start of something much greater than we imagine. They never told me where you were from. The truth is much stranger than I ever imagined. To think about other worlds, how is such a thing possible? How far away is your world? Can I see it if I look up at the stars? You asked if I liked being a servant. It is an honorable position, to be sure, but I wish I could go home. I am a pronig. Even among servants, I do not belong. I was sent here to serve the Brayan Queen as a gesture of goodwill from my people. I will serve, but I would go home in an instant if I could. I, for one, think that having a night warrior on our side would be a huge advantage. If she is trained properly, of course. Who is the fool, Semtopas? He who accepts the help of those with many resources at their disposal, or he who rejects it? Master Jehera, surely you of all people understand why having another night warrior would be... a jlisel. They may start as few, but once they have had a taste of power, they will demand more. They will demand lands, demand armies. This has happened before, Semnarim, many times in history, and it never ends well for the king who invites outsiders in like old friends. Semtopas, with all due respect, look at her. Are we really to believe this outsider, who we know nothing about, should become a junta because she had a bad feeling. The council will hardly stand for it. Vague stories are hardly evidence. My abilities became known to the Brians, and they took me to the temple of Gedmet for testing to become a junta. I joined the Sekran when I was twelve, and I never saw my family again. We all must make our sacrifices. I ask you this. Will you choose to overcome your fear now, or will you lose your sanity because you are afraid? You, an Istalok, mock me. Your race is but an infant, foolishly worshipping me as a god since the dawn of your time. Countless Istalok have asked me the same question as you coveting my power in order to exert their will upon the world. They had the awareness of an insect. What makes you any different? Your life will be but a speck in the vast ocean of existence, and time will forget your name, just as it has mine. I am nobody, and I will remain nobody, because I wish it so. Know this, Istalok. There have been many of your race who have sought my aid. I have guided many people with a strong enough will to shape the world, always resulting in the same disappointment. I have watched eons of your kind pass by, and now I am a mere shadow of myself. My power grows weaker with each use, and soon there will be nothing left at all. I cannot help you, Islalok, nor will I when the risks exceed the benefits. Is that how you would treat an unarmed man? Where is your honor? 
Please know I did everything for you, for our legacy. I like your spirit. You remind me of someone I knew long ago. However, you are wrong on all three counts. Your kind are still in their infancy, blindly scraping together tools that could barely modify the face of a planet, let alone a universe. I have been in this place for much longer than you could have dreamed, child. It's too bad. You are a rare jewel. A child born of two variations in the human form. A genetic miracle. You could have been destined for greatness. But we all have free will. You chose to die instead. <laughs>